Hello everyone and welcome to the next vlog of the Far Cry Replayer project. Now in the last vlog here you saw me here making up this ratio signal kit and in the video I showed you how to convert these signal, these signal kits to have the upper quadrant uh, LMS signal arms. So in this video here we're going to be installing the signals onto the layout and it's very very simple so let's let's see what, how we go about doing it. Now <clears throat> in the instructions of these kits it says you're meant to have a 13 inch diameter drill bit to drill out the, the holes for the little tubes that um, the, the mechanisms for, for the operation of the signal uh, fit into. Now unfortunately for this video I, well, I happen to have misplaced the, that drill bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work around this here and see what we can use that if you don't have these drill bits at hand, what else, what else could you use that would be more of use to, to do this? So what I'm going to do is that I actually got a, a 10 inch drill bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out the hole. And then to finish off, I'm just going to go on the edges using this flat edge uh, scalpel blade. Now, the area where we're going to do here is just by the station knife. Now in this photograph here of the far car, station project, that's the Far Cry station, the original one, we see here that there's a small home signal at the very start. Just a standard single home signal, whereas in the Railway Series books it's actually a signal gantry. Oops. So, to mark out where I'm going to put it in, I've already done this by the way here, just before I record the video. So basically you just get the weed tube, this is actually from one of the weed levers, which I'll be showing you guys later on how to install those as well. So I'm marking in where I'm gonna <coughs> where I'm gonna install it. Draw around it using a pencil, and then just you know fill in the area just so you know exactly where it is you want to leave this. You want to put your signal. Next, we get our drill bit on our electric drill. Right, again, be very very careful here. Make sure you, you drill the hole vertically. And you make sure you do it very, very slowly now. Okay, we're through. Now, just turn up the debris. Of course, I'll be going over this here with the Hoover anyway, so... Now, let's see, where do I leave the weed tube? There it is. Now obviously here, you can see here it's too small to fit in, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this, get our scalpel blade, and just very, very gently, just go around the edge of the baseboard of that hole. Now some of it is very very it is quite a soft board to to cut through so you shouldn't have that much trouble doing this with a scalpel blade. But just be warned that um whilst you're doing this here just make sure you you're doing this very, very carefully otherwise the, the blade will easily snap. Now, I've had a few experiences when this is this has occurred, but as these scalpel blades were bought from Pineland I can easily get another set if needed. Yep. Now, if there's some gaps left over showing from, from this here, they can easily be filled. 
with a bit of masking tape. Because I'm going to be ballasting over this here, it'll, it'll pretty much easily cover that up. So just test it, fit it with the signals in place. There she goes. Also, make sure that there's clearance for your trains to go past. So here I'm using my inclinable coaches. They seem to be okay. Try it with Daisy. Clearance is okay. Also make sure that the signal is also working as well underneath. So Yep, that's all I can find. So, I'll carry on with doing the other two signals. Okay, here we have the three signals now in position on the layout. Now, whilst I was installing th this signal here for the quarry line, I actually, I actually realized I made a bit of a mistake. That's because I've actually installed this signal in the wrong place on the baseboard. Now, this can easily be fixed up here, and this is how you go about doing it. Now, just to point out exactly where this signal is actually meant to go, see, I've already, I've already made out the, cut out the hole for it. But this signal is actually meant to go down a wee bit further, so it's actually meant to go right here, and not all the way over there. So, to fill in this mistake here, I'm going to put some masking tape over this area. I'm going to cut, going to cut a wee bit more of this um, basket liner away, and this one will be basted over with um, Javis Brown Scatter, which, uh, in my opinion, sort of blends in well this... Uh, from underway, so I'm going to start doing that there. Okay, that's the quarry signal now in its uh, proper place now on the baseboard, and where the uh, first hole was, it's now been filled in with uh, I scrunched up a wee bit of paper just to put on the knee frame and went on the top with uh, some masking tape. So this is all going to be caught up with some Javis Baron scatter, so it won't really matter. You won't you won't see it um, once that's all covered up. So, uh, I'll just put this camera down here just a sec here, just so you can see. Sorry for this angle, this is the best shot I can get here on, on the baseboard. There's enough room here for the tripod to uh, go over here. So, I'll try and get as close as I can here to the baseboard, to the area we're going to look at here. There we go, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I'm going to be using this signal for an example for this installation. So before you put the signals into your baseboard, once you've drilled the holes in the light for it, the next thing you have to try and next thing you have to do is to get some string. Now with these kits here it's uh, supplies review with a little bundle of uh, string. So I've kept these from the previous kits and in the instructions it'll show you you know how to uh, attach this to the signal and what way you should go about put it in. Now, but having we think here about this, these signals here, and uh, wondering about ways of how am I going to, you know, in terms of op operating them. So I had this idea of maybe having maybe two levers just operate all the signals at once. But uh, it might be a bit tricky. I'm, I'm so maybe thinking on that those terms. But uh, let me just see here. Well, maybe, maybe not. I might just just stay with stick, stick with the four levers because I have them there, and uh, it'll be easier for me to number them as well. So, okay. So, well, anyway, um, back on topic. First thing I have to do is to attach this thread onto the this little hole. Oh, get get it so the camera pick it up, pick it up. Oop. So I need to attach the string to this to this little hole and thread it up through underneath the baseboard. So I'll see about getting that done and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, now we've got uh, the string attached to the seal 
is now trying to feed this feed a string under the baseboard. So there's quite a lot here, so it'll be plenty for us to work with. Be very careful. Now we can put our signal in. Also, keep checking that it's not fouling with any of the coaches. There we go. Square it up a bit. Yeah. Now it's trying to sort out underneath the baseboard. Okay, we're now underneath the baseboard and you can see here, this is where our signals come out. And even here's a string. Now, what happens here is that we've created a wee bit of a, an issue here when it came to operating, when we came to building the signals. Now, because I have, because I installed the pivot arm so it actually uh, operates the arm, what I originally thought it was that it was going to be pointing the other direction so that way I could pull it this way. But apparently it's now facing that way so I have to try and put from this direction. So in order to do this here I need to insert a series of eye screws as a guide for it to go all the way through the baseboard or all through the these little holes that I drilled in the timber. Uh, let me see. I might not see same one there. There's one. Just get the camera to focus there. See if I can get the string through one of those that that hole and on towards the the switch the switching station on on the in the fill yard. So what I need to do now is to get my wee ice screws. These boys here. You'll get these supplied in the kit here, and just screw them underneath the baseboard. Now, Sandila is very soft, so it'll be easy to install these in, but doing it from underneath is quite a challenge. So, I might have to... There's quite a few items underneath here as well, so... I'll have to turn the camera off here whilst I do this here, but uh, I'll show you what the end result looks like in a wee, in a wee minute. Right, I've just been spending a few minutes and I'm just getting this uh, rigged up here. So what I've done here is I've fixed on two screw eyes and this will basically just guide the string through the uh, hole I drilled into, in the baseboard. So it'll all run, run along across till I reach the levers. Now I'm not going to attach these up to the levers just yet because um, these wires that I have from the point motors, which you'll see down there, it's a, a small, it's, it's a little bit of a mess at the minute though, but uh, I spent like a couple of hours uh, one evening just trying to sort them out and just tidy them up a bit. But uh, they can now do with um, being fixed up uh, properly into place now. So I'll need to get some uh, duct tape and just um, just go along a few parts of it just to fix all the, the loose wires in place. And then once those are done, I can now I can then see about fitting in this this. Uh, these strings for the signals just to guide through and then that there won't be any areas for it to get all tangled up with and get stuck so that's what I'll pretty much do but um, at the other end I'll be doing the the same thing with uh, the signal lever as well and uh, there'll be a little uh, plastic item which I showed in the in the construction video which will be attached to this just so that if you know if there's any looseness left in the string I can easily tighten it up very easily. So um well, next uh, next installment of this here I'll uh, pretty much show you how I went about doing it there but until then I'll see if I get any signals 
prepared now for um, getting them attached up to the levers. And once I get once I get some duct tape to fix up these wires, then I'll I'll continue on with that then. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in here, and uh, I'll see you in the second part of this installment. Take care.